Hi y'all, it's Pam again with Mason Lance Designs and I'm here for another Zoom Notes video. Today we're going to talk about the pen tool. But before I do, in my last video I was talking about the color, the color palette um, tool. And so I'm going to show you another one of my absolute favorite features. There's no more, when you want to get rid of something, there's no more circling and then pressing down, you know, to get a menu up. Okay, you can um, circle it and then come up here to the very top right by the um, cog tool there is a trash can and all you got to do is click on the trash can and so I can in order to remove these I can take it and just circle them it automatically highlights that I don't have to you know press down to pull up a menu and I can just circle them and click the trash can and they're gone and I didn't realize um, how much I love that feature till I went back to Good Notes 4 and I was working on a couple of things and it just seems like there were so many extra steps in doing things in Good Notes 4 as opposed to Zoom Notes that it, I just found that I love Zoom Notes even more. So at the very top right next to um, this Zoom button is the writing tool, the pens. And so when you click on it, you have several different um, things to choose from. Okay, first button at the top is the style. This first section you can slide across it and it makes it wider or thicker, however you like it. Down here are the different pen tools that you can use and I have a picture that I'll be posting in the group that tells, you know, exactly what each one of these are. Okay, and then down here is another way to access the color palette. So if you're using a pen and you want to change the color you don't have to necessarily come over here to the side and change it you can do it right when you you know long press the pen tool and the next button at the top is to customize where you can put in the points on how thick you want the pen um, the follow zoom the opacity you know you can make the color a lot lighter if you didn't want it you know the full color and then um, the dashed button you can turn on and off the next one is the rulers, where you can draw shapes. That's a straight line, then that would be the, you know, triangle. Then you got the half circle and a square and a full circle. And um, I guess a wiggly line and then a pointed wiggly line, if you will. Um, and here's the snapping tool feature. I've not used these features a whole lot because I'm still learning good notes. I'm just really sharing with y'all the features of why I love it so much. There's still a lot for me to learn. And then this is very cool. So this is in the pen tool, the highlighter tool, and the text tool is you have a favorite section. So if you tend to use a certain, you know, pen, certain color, certain font, um, and a certain size, because most of us have a couple of favorites, you can save them right here. So let's just say we're going to um, save this one that I've got chosen. Down here at the bottom, I click the plus sign and it saves it. So then the next time I want to use it, I had that on. And I'm not sure how to take it off because I don't really use it. Sorry about this, guys. I'm still learning. So, um, yes, that is, you know, your favorite. You can come over here and click edit at the bottom and you can um, delete it if you've changed your mind. And it looks like I need to fix that because it's got the little wiggly tool over to the side that I'm probably not going to want. That's exactly what I did. So I'm just going to come over here and delete it and then I'll redo it later. Okay, and then you have groups. I reckon you can have different kind of groups um, for your pens. If you have it for, you know, different things, you can group them together. And then up here at the very top corner, I don't know if you saw that off to the right, is a little options menu that you can, you know, auto dismiss and swipe to scroll and, you know, all the different things that it has to offer. I know that the options and the tools can be really overwhelming in Zoom Notes because there's, almost too many options 
But when you slowly start learning it, then you realize, wow, I can really customize this app to exactly what I want it to be, exactly how I use it. Almost like just a blank planner, you can create it, you know, and put into it whatever you want it to be. Well, I think Zoom Notes is kind of the same way. For almost, you know, each button, there's some type of, you know, option menu. Okay, and the last thing about the pen tool, okay, when you press it once, a quick press, okay, you get this menu. But if you long hold it, then you'll get up this main menu that just um, has one of each of all of these tools that you can, you know, choose from. So if there's something that you're wanting to go to and you, you know, don't see it, you just long click um, and you can pick up, you know, any of these tools. Right, I'm sorry. And all of these buttons do the same thing. You can long click on any of these buttons and this menu here will pull up. And like I said, I know this is overwhelming, guys, and I will try to do, you know, just one little feature at a time. That way it's easy to go back and rewatch a couple of times and, you know, go back and then try to do whatever you see in a video, you know, you can go back and do because that's pretty much how I've learned what I've learned so far. So I hope to talk to you all again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.